Good morning. Welcome again to Morning Devotions, and thank you for spending time with us again today. As you notice, each day the lighting is a little different because I have my little makeshift lighting system set up here in the house, and I try different things. I, I think yesterday I'm too dark, so today I'm trying to brighten it up a little bit. I want us to go back to the book of Acts chapter 11. There's a beautiful truth there that will help all of us in our practical everyday life. We, pick, we start reading in chapter 11, verse 1. The apostles and the other brothers throughout Judea heard that the Gentiles had also received the word of God. So, when Peter went up to Jerusalem, the circumcised believers criticized him and said, You went to the house of the uncircumcised men and ate with them. Now notice, everybody heard this, but one group of people criticized. Now folks, I'm sorry. Whenever you do something new and God blesses and there's great fruit, there's always going to be somebody who criticizes. And usually this is a group where you broke their rule. You broke their rule, not God's rule. You broke their rule, and they don't care about the fruit. They don't care about how many people are getting saved. They don't care about the miracles. They don't care about what the Holy Spirit is doing. You broke their rule. Now, forgive me, I've broken a lot of people's rules in my life, and I've had a lot of people criticize me, and in my short life, I've done it a lot, and in the years I have left, I promise to do it some more. Because, brothers and sisters, let's just live the Bible and not the rules of people. It is amazing to me how these people can get so angry about their little rule and not care anything about the wonderful harvest of souls that are getting saved. Now, when these guys started all the criticism, how did Peter respond to all of that? Well, the scripture is very clear. It says that he sat down and began to precisely explain everything, verse 4. He sat down and just started in the beginning and explained everything. Never be afraid to explain. When a bunch of critics get everybody all worked up about things, just sit down and precisely explain everything from the beginning. It doesn't hurt you to explain yourself. And then people can look at the fruit and not just get focused on the emotions of somebody all mad about their rule. You see, if you don't back up and say, nah, I don't have to explain myself to anybody, then everybody's going to begin to have a question mark about you. But if you'll humble yourself, go, okay, yes, I broke your little rule. Not God's rule, but I broke your little rule. But let me precisely explain to you what happened in the life, and let me tell you all about the fruit. And then you'll find the critics will still criticize, but the rest of the people will gather around you and rejoice in what God has done for you. 